Stanford University. We were trying to come up with a new way for robots to explore their environment, moving away from robots that walk or locomote to robots that can grow like plants or cells. The basic mechanism of the device is called eversion. So it basically turns inside out as the material emits from the tip. By doing so, we allow more material to be fed through the center, and that allows us to grow to very long lengths and can follow very convoluted paths through very difficult to reach places. We implement it here with a pneumatic pressure, such as air pressure, to make it extend. And you could also do it with hydraulics, so using a pressurized fluid. It can have a power supply that doesn't need to move. It can just stay stationary, unlike a locomoting robot. That gives us a lot more flexibility in terms of weight as we move through our environments. This version of the robot had a turning mechanism that worked by lengthening a particular side. We have a camera that's kept at the tip and it's used to sense the environment just like the human eye does. And based on that, a goal destination can be designated by a user to grow the robot to. The body can be stuck to the environment or jammed between rocks and then the new material just comes at the end. One instance we made a little obstacle course. We also had a demonstration of lifting a large crate. We could grow under it and then use the air pressure to lift the crate off the ground. As you're growing the device you can pull cables along. So this is an application for wiring ceilings or the walls or floors of a house. You can think about scaling it up for say search and rescue applications. We can make it take the shape of an antenna so you can enable communications. We can make it sneak through very small crevices in order to get access to places where people can't go. And also we can deliver material through the center of it, whether it be a sensor or water, for example, to reach a disaster victim. Our device is currently made out of the cheap plastic. Uh, it is available and easy to prototype with. We're looking now at making it out of much more robust, airtight, waterproof fabrics. The main point of this first paper on, on the idea is just showing proof of concept. It's a whole new form of mobility. I think the biggest challenge is so much the scope of what it can be. 